Well, open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act is in full swing, and while thousands of Americans working to enroll for a new health insurance plan, scammers are starting to take advantage of the process. Several scams targeting seniors have already been reported around the country. Fox's Rachel Lucas is looking into the details to help keep you from falling victim. She joins us now live in the studio with more. So, Rachel, how does this new scam work? Well, Lindsay, a lot of the confusion about the new Obamacare comes from the enrollment dates, which coincide with Part D of Medicare enrollment dates. Scammers are now posing as government officials targeting seniors who have Medicare and fishing for personal information in order to get into your bank account. Shannon Abel has been working for months going into churches and senior centers to educate people about the Affordable Health Care Act. That's where he's noticed a lot of confusion and misinformation. He was notified from the Better Business Bureau about a new scam. He says scammers are always looking for new ways to get into seniors' pocketbooks. Now they're looking to cash in on the confusion of the Affordable Health Care Act. It started with emails, but now has spread to scammers posing as government officials calling you at home. People are being being scammed from the aspect of getting a phone call saying that they're going to jail if they don't buy into one of these plans or they need to get their new Obama card or their new Medicare card. Abel says no one under any circumstances will be calling about these policies including Social Security and Medicare. There's nothing with Obamacare that seniors need to do. If they get a call at home, it's a scam. Abel says the Affordable Health Care Act is for people age 64 and under who are not eligible for Medicare. He says the claim of jail time is absurd. The worst penalty for not signing up for Obamacare is a $95 tax or 1% of your yearly earnings. We just don't want anybody giving out Social Security information, credit card, bank account information over the phone. Abel says to hang up if anyone calls you saying they are a government official or an insurance agent asking you to act now or promises a special deal or to help you avoid paying a penalty. He says they may ask you to sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan. He's working to protect seniors' personal information and says it should only be given out to professionals. Seniors contact first. Law enforcement and the Better Business Bureau is working together to locate these scammers. I'm told they do have several leads that could be from out of the country, but it's still early in the investigation.